Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing five different Christmas presents that you can make with nail polish. So I have all my colors of nail polish right here and then I went to the dollar store and I got a few little items for Christmas presents right here and I'm going to be painting them all with nail polish to make them look a little bit cuter, a little bit better looking, all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. I'm gonna start out with this purple bag that I got. Nice and simple, just purple plastic. Um, this is, I'm gonna be making it for Lizzie because me and her both have one doll bed that we both share. And it's kind of hard because we both wanna use the one doll bed and it's only for one doll. So it's really hard. So I got her this doll bed so she can have her own doll bed. And I'm going to, instead of just having a plain purple one, I'm going to be changing it so that it has some nice fun little colors on it. So let's get started. I'm starting out with this hot pink color because Lizzie's favorite color is pink. So I'm gonna paint, probably, I'm gonna paint the pillow pink. I think I'm gonna do like, actually I'm just gonna paint the whole thing pink. Let's hope that it shows up good on the pillow because I don't want it to just be nothing. I think what I'm gonna have to do is maybe just dump a little bit on the pillow and spread it around on the pillow so that it goes everywhere instead of having to dip a bunch of times. But we'll just see what this, how well this works. I'm just gonna make it kind of rough so it's not, it's not gonna be perfect because I'm gonna do another coat after it dries. pause on you because the nail polish is getting at places it's not supposed to be aka off the pillow and it's not supposed to go off the pillow it's supposed to stay on the pillow because I'm painting the pillow not the bed yet so now I have the pillow all done it's not all done I just have to wait for it to dry for a little bit before I can do the overcoat so far that is what it looks like um, I don't want it to drip everywhere, so I'm not gonna show you for too long. Um, it's a bit messy around the edges because I'm not a professional here. So I'm now gonna do the bed, and I decided definitely for the bed, I am not going to do the full blankets because that will take so long. So I'm just gonna do a real color, not a, um, I used one that's supposed to be just like a highlighter, not one that's supposed to be for the full nail, so that's why it took so long. So let's hope this one doesn't take as long. I think I'm gonna use a purple, purple and red for this, because, you know, it's already purple and it goes with pink, and so it's just gonna go with the color scheme. Let's hope it actually, this purple actually shows up though. I'm just gonna do like strips of purple on it. So the good thing is that this paint shows up well, and it's not as difficult to paint the bed part and not compared to the pillow part because the pillow I don't know why that, or actually I do know why that one was so hard it's because I did the wrong highlight color I did like a highlight color not a real color so it took way longer now I'm gonna put some red on it just throw some more lines of red this time I'm probably not gonna put as many actually I'm gonna put just as many but this time I actually know a secret instead of not tilting the bed, I can tilt the bed. I'm all finished. Um, the red and the purple look like the exact same colors. I hope they dry differently so they look like different colors. And maybe in the light, like in the sunlight or the house light, it might look like different colors. And then the pillow is all dry. I'm not gonna add more because it's just like gel and so it's not gonna go very well. So I'm all done with the bed. Number one, present number one is all done. So there's one thing you could do is paint the bed, paint it all bed. Next thing, I got this paintable car. I probably should have got paint for this, but this is not a paint video, this is a nail polish video. So I got this wooden car that is supposed to be painted on. So I'm gonna see if this one's easier to paint than plastic. Let's hope it is. That was a beautiful color. It's so pretty. I already painted 
did one side. I gotta wait for that side to dry before I can do the other side. So I'm gonna do the top while I'm waiting for that side to dry. And I just stuck my finger on it. Well done myself. It's fine, I didn't ruin it. So I'm gonna do the top blue and then I'm gonna do the wheels silver. But I'll do the wheels very last and maybe just do the wheels later. So Canyon, he like always loves, uh, not, something funny about Canyon is when you give him a toy car, he'll play with it all the time. But another funny thing is, He'll sit there and go and like make all these funny noises when he's playing cars. It's hilarious. And it's he just has like a huge imagination. It's so funny. Maybe like I'll make a video of just Canyon playing with this car. I am finished with the car. I'm probably gonna do some finishing touches at the end of the video, so keep watching if you wanna see what those finishing touches are. I didn't do the wheels or this little ball on top. I don't know what that's for. I think it's just so that you can paint with something to hold on to. But I did blue on top and then like this teal on the side. So I think Kyan's gonna love that. Next, I'm going to use this brick, but I'm going to draw a Captain America shield on this for Asbury. And he can build Legos on it. He can hang it on his wall. He can sleep on it if he wants to. He can do whatever he wants with it. But he likes Marvel. So I think that'd be, he loves Legos and Marvel. So I'm gonna do double that for him. Wow, this is gonna be a little tougher than I thought. I have a picture of the shield right here. Blue is drying, and I need it to be dry before I can put the red around it, or else it'll mix and make purple, and that's not what the shield is. So, I'm going to let it dry, and while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to start on Danielle's. I'm just gonna write her name it all cute. So I'm gonna start making Danielle's while I'm waiting for the blue to dry. So I think that's all I'm gonna do for Danielle's for right now. I will gloss it over with some decoration later, but for right now, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, is the blue all dry? The blue isn't quite dry yet, so I think I'm gonna move on to Allie's while I'm waiting for the blue to dry. I'm just gonna paint all around like this big circle down here with this color and then like paint differently with the other colors. I don't know how yet. I'll figure that out when it comes time to figure it out. So I'm now gonna put the red outline. I hope it looks good. So this one's probably gonna be like the least good looking, but it's the thought that counts though, right? It's not like, oh, it has to be perfect or else they're not gonna like it. It's the thought that counts. You know what? This actually turned out way better than I thought. I think he's actually gonna notice that it's a Captain America shield, not just some splattered nail polish all over a uh, Lego plate, which is, what it looks like in my eyes, but you know what? It's not my eyes. I mean, it is, it is, but. I just gotta make it right on over here so I'm not touching right on the other side. And right down here. So this took a long time, so I actually decorated off camera while I was doing other stuff, like while other stuff was drying and stuff. So um, I decorated those wheels so they're all sparkly instead of just brown. And then the cover fold over thing, that is also decorated all sparkly. And then the rest is just normal Danielle with cute dots all over, normal Captain America shield on a Lego thing, and the normal base, which actually is really, really cool. I really think that Ali would like that. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We love you guys so much. And as always, you are worth it. And you can be alive. Bye, guys.